Our next guest is a uh, talented uh, comedian who will be performing this weekend at Governor's Comedy Club on Long Island. Here's the very funny Wendy Liebman, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I love New York, the city that never sleeps, because there's a Starbucks on every corner. <laughs> wow, I'm so nervous. I haven't performed in a while. Uh, I took last year off uh, to have a baby. <laughs> and that didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> I did get a tattoo. Uh, it's, ov it's over my ovary. It's an expiration date. Uh, I want to be a mother. I, I've been called one. I, I want to... Um, I'd be so overprotective. I would never let my kids outside of my body. Uh, and if I had a baby, I would definitely breastfeed it because uh, I don't know how to cook. But I'm getting to be very maternal because I started going out with a guy who has a five-year-old mentality. <laughs> he thinks I'm crazy. I'm like, hey, I'm not the one dating me. I want to marry him. He said he'll give me a piece of coal and he'll marry me when it turns into a diamond from all the pressure. <laughs> Diamonds are so expensive. Uh, so are things that you buy at the airport. I was at the airport getting my, I was getting my latte. I got a triple latte, and the guy's like four sixty. I'm like four dollars and sixty. Keep the coffee, cause that just woke me up. <laughs> four sixty. That's expensive. You know what else is expensive? Aren't movies expensive? Yeah, when, when you, when you forget to return them. Uh, <laughs> And then in your car, melted. <laughs> Rewind it, I can't even scrape it out of the trunk. <laughs> and forget about healthcare, that's outrageously expensive. Oh my God, my HMO, they charge me for a self-breast exam. <laughs> it's a flat fee. I've been poor since college. I used to have to sell my blood for cash. I sold so much blood, only like half of me graduated. <laughs> and then after college, I wanted to go to Europe, but I couldn't afford Europe, so I went backpacking uh, through Epcot. <laughs> and... <laughs> that was more expensive, and I had a... Um... <laughs> get a job. My first job before I did stand-up, I was a temp. Uh, well, it didn't start out that way. I was hired permanently, but um, <laughs> it's so hard to give two weeks notice when you're not there for that long. Um, I got fired because I thought casual Friday meant I could come in on Monday. <laughs> My grandmother, uh, she has the best advice. She's in Florida now, you know, for spring break. And... <laughs> My grandmother always says, do what you love and the money will follow. And she loves rich men. <laughs> My grandmother, she's always been ahead of her time. She used to um, put the phone in her purse. Um, it was a rotary phone and it was attached to the wall, but she was on the right track. <laughs> and lithium. Uh, okay, thank you. Hi, Wendy Arnold. Good to see you again. Wendy Liebman, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Our next guest is a uh, very funny woman. She'll be uh, performing right down the uh, street at a place called Caroline's, right here on Broadway, uh, Thursday through Sunday. Please welcome back to the show, Wendy Liebman. Wendy, come on out. Uh, 
I couldn't be happier because it's Clinique bonus time and you're here and today I found $20. Woo! Isn't that fun when you find money? Yeah, it was just like sitting there in the tip jar at Starbucks. <laughs> I'm from Long Island originally. <laughs> but I don't come from money. Uh, I come from coupons. Uh, I have three older sisters. I always got hand-me-downs and secondhand smoke. Uh, Four girls. My mother never said it, but I think she always wanted a boyfriend. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I want a boyfriend. I live in Los Angeles, and people are so phony there, and I hate that I fit right in. Um, I couldn't fall asleep last night because of the time change, you know, and I talk in my sleep, I've been told, by the phone company. <laughs> But I couldn't fall asleep, so I went to Kinko's, you know, the 24-hour copy place where all the insomniacs go to copy sheep and, <laughs> and count the copies. Because <laughs> they're open 24 hours. They have to be. Their employees are so slow. <laughs> Office work is hard, because before I was a stand-up, I was a secretary, and this is before there were computers. Can you, like, imagine? No solitaire? <laughs> they thought there was a bomb on my plane. Oh, my God. Yeah, but it turned out to be my biological clock ticking, right? Because I'm 37, and I want to get married. I used to believe in love at first sight, you know, because I fell in love with this doctor that delivered me. <laughs> Then he slapped me. <laughs> I'm not into that kind of pain. I almost married this guy from Canada to get my green card. Yeah, I know, my American Express. <laughs> but he left home without me. My, my grandmother... My grandmother always said, don't marry for money. Uh -uh. Divorce for money. And that... Um, <laughs> I actually don't care that much about money. I dated a musician, and he used to leave um, songs for me on the phone. Yeah, it was like so much like being on hold. <laughs> I know I'll fall in love when I least expect it, you know, at my wedding. <laughs> with my maid of honor. <laughs> no, no, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a lesbian. I, I practice just in case, but I, I'm not... Uh... <laughs> Sex is risky though, yeah. I can get something terminal. You know, kids. <laughs> I want kids, I want to give them things I never had, like beanie babies, um, a stepmother. <laughs> the only way, though, to have safe sex is to abstain from drinking. We, we know that. <laughs> drink and drive. Oh my god, I lost my virginity in a carpool. And... <laughs> no, it's, every, it's every man's fantasy to be with two women, yeah. It's my fantasy to be with two men <laughs> in my lifetime. <laughs> I talked to my mother about sex. She's 64 and her whole life she only slept with one man, yeah. And she won't tell me who. <laughs> She can't remember. She also told me that men fake it. Hello, cubic zirconia. <laughs> then she told me finally that you could tell how well endowed a man is just by looking at the size of his ego. And... No, I thought it was the feet, didn't you? The bigger the feet, the bigger, yeah. I thought that's why clowns are always so happy. 